Welcome to video five of electronics career questions. Today's suggestion is learning how to read schematics and learning how logic works. And if you can figure out how the schematic works and how the circuitry is, you can figure out how the logic is. Even if you have to look up the chip and see what the chip is online, and you can say, okay, you're supposed to have a high on the output and you're not getting a high and you're getting a low. And if you check all the other references points to that and they're reading what that should be, then you know that chip output is either bad or something down the line and pulling it low. So you can either take and remove this reference, remove that resistor, and if it's still low, go back to the next part and see if this capacitor here is shorted. And if not, then you know that chip there is bad. That's just how you're going to work with the logic. Doesn't mean it's just how it works with everything in the world. This is just a generic description and how you will be working on electronics in the future, hopefully. So, pay attention in college, pay attention in high school, vocational, if they teach you how to read schematics. This is something that's going to be very important to you later on in life. It's not like geometry. It's not like geometry. You're actually going to actually use this. Geometry, you're not really going to be using this. So, secretary, So circuitry and working on electronics go hand to hand. So if you read schematics, you can read the blueprint, then you should be able to fix the electronics. If you have the basic knowledge of how logic works, that will get you far in the field of electronic repair. And an electronic technician, you can a manufacturing technician, a electronic assembler, the list goes on. If you have the basic knowledge of how circuitry works, and if you can read a schematic and go A to B, A to Z, and figure out the logic, you're going to get yourself so much further in life than where you are when you didn't know about electronics. That's my tip and suggestion of today. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. I have a playlist of videos. If you have suggestions, comments, please leave them down below. If you would like to be brought onto the channel, and share your knowledge of electronics and your experiences of what you worked at and where you worked at. You don't have to leave a company name or just have a generic information. We can share our knowledge to the future generation of electronic technicians. I'll see you again.